Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own satay sauce. You can serve that up with dishes such as this, which is my coconut beer battered prawns. You should look out for that video, it's really easy and cool. Okay, let's get on with it. So here I've got some coconut cream, I'm adding in some tamarind, around about the equivalent of a tablespoon's worth. That can go straight in, it's just a tamarind paste that you can buy from your local supermarket or an Asian supermarket. We're going to mix that up. Now, very, very simple, this recipe, but all the flavors we need. So here I've got some ground cumin, a teaspoon-ish worth that goes straight in. We're going to add in some turmeric, around about the equivalent to half a teaspoon. And here's another quick tip for you. Sometimes that turmeric will clog up in those little jars that you buy from the supermarket. So the back of your spoon and give that a bit of a stir. Now mix all of that together just like I'm doing there and that coconut cream we've actually made quite thick. We've got some peanuts around about a good handful we're putting that into a little food processor and I'm putting in a small bird's eye chili that I've roughly chopped and if you don't want it too hot remove the seeds are equivalent to three cloves of garlic and around about a one centimeter piece of ginger I'm just using the paste it's easier that way and we also want some lemongrass and I'm going to add in a good couple of teaspoons of that as well and it's a teaspoon paste good dollop of honey that can go straight in as well it's going to give it a little bit of a sweetness a little bit of sesame oil that can go straight in we're going to blitz all of that up just like i'm doing right there i'm just about ready to start making this beautiful satay sauce now that should all end up being a nice little paste like that we're going to put that into a fry pan i'm just using a little bit of butter you could use some ghee ghee would be better to be honest with you be healthier that's for sure so we're just going to put that paste straight in and start cooking that off all that other mixture that we just made with the coconut milk and uh, all the rest of that we're going to put that straight in as well and we just need to stir and cook this off very very easy add a little bit of water if it looks a little bit too thick and it's going to make up a really nice beautiful satay sauce now i would also add in a couple of dashes maybe a teaspoon worth of fish sauce I did not film unfortunately so keep stirring that through cook all of that spices off and we're going to add in one finely diced onion that can go in and we're just going to cook that onion into the sauce and a little bit of peanut butter a good dollop of that very very simple this recipe keep mixing that through just like I'm doing right there and before you know it you're going to have this amazing satay sauce we need one more ingredient and that is going to be the roots of some coriander. I've used the root section of about three sprigs of coriander there. I'm just gonna lightly cook that off. We want a nice rich coriander flavor into this particular satay sauce. Now, how easy was that? And you can cook this and serve it with anything you like. Chicken, fish, prawns, beef, lamb, whatever. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up but more importantly you want to learn some beautiful kitchen basics just like this well then you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again all right i'm off to eat something with the side sauce we just made and i will catch you next time